Hello everyone, my name is Josh, aka The Biscuit Eater, and I want to welcome you all to the first episode of my new long-form Let's Play of The Bard's Tale. Yes, this is the original, well not the original Bard's Tale, this is the original remake of The Bard's Tale from back 2005. It's a bit of a throwback, but I decided I wanted to have something a little chill, a little fun, and just fitting in with my slightly off-kilter sense of humor. This is an older game, of course, it's 15 years old, so... Some of the humor may not be quite as topical and may even be mildly offensive, but uh, we don't shy from that here. I don't use that humor myself on my on my streams, but I don't shy away from it in the content that I play on. So let's go ahead and get past all of that and let's start the game, shall we? You'd like to hear a new story? Oh, very well. Where shall we begin? Well, first, difficulty. We all know how I do it here. We always do easy. <laughs> All right. Yes, 2005 is old now, Cap. Uh, 15 years. Uh, this game is only three years away from being able to legally smoke and drink in the U.S. Or no, le legally smoke, not drink. Uh, drink it would be other countries. See, so what do I want to focus on? I'm give myself a little more strength. A high vitality will increase the Bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. The stronger the Bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the Bard's adventures. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the Bard's adventures. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the Bard's adventures. A high dexterity allows the Bard to inflict greater damage with ranged weapons. Shopkeepers will offer significant discounts to the Bard if he has high charisma. Rhythm allows the Bard to play magical tunes with greater skill enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. There we go, I think that works for me. Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe we should go back and hear luck a couple more times just to be sure. Let's see here, two-handed weapons, dual wield. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. Allows the bard to equip and use a flail. The Bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. A powerful charging attack which stuns enemies, used with a sword skill. A powerful ranged shot which passes through its target, used with a ranged skill. Gives the Bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. The Bard gains bonus coins for any treasure he finds. Hmm. I'm thinking either two-handed weapons... Allows the Bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. Or... Power shot. Question is, do I want to be primarily Allows melee? the Bard to equip be, and use two-handed weapons. I usually go... go uh, distance. Let's go, let's go melee. Let's go melee. It had come to this at last. One man... A poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no friends. one to mourn his passing, should it come to oh, that. such high quality. Even high those quality. beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants, summoned by sorcery and song, as cold and indifferent to him as the light of a wandering star. Gee, you don't like it there, but we We've got to begin elsewhere. And not that long ago. A simple man he was, with a quick wit and a sharp tongue, an eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law, come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. 
The bard readied his instrument and prepared to ply his trade. Drunken lots, get off your backsides and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. Uh. Oh, what a strapping rest. man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hurt, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? See? I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything <laughs> you'd like to other. heave my way. Then it's a deal, for it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. Oh, and, uh, my sword is quite big enough to handle any troubles you might have. I said, a little spicy, a little spicy. This is the reason why I all came. Beer, 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 tilly beer, beer, beer. A long time ago, way back in history, when all there was to drink was nothing but drops of tea. Along came a man by the name of Charlie Moss, and he invented a wonderful drink and he made it out of hops. Hey, he must have been the man that held the salt and or a king. Well, to his praises, we shall always sing. Look what he's done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Lord bless Charlie Watts, the man who invented beer, 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 till he beer, beer, beer. The drunken rat that aching and drum and told his pub as will. One thing you can be sure of, it's Charlie's beer they sell. So all you lads and lasses at eleven o'clock you stop for five short seconds. Remember Charlie Watts. One, two, three, four. Five. Hey, he must have been a man of all the salt and all the king. Come to his praises, we shall always sing. Look what he's done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Well, bless Charlie Moss, the man who invented beer, 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 till he beer, beer, beer. A little moat, a bushel of hopes, you steal the ground with your stick. The kind of lubrication to make your engines tink. Thirty pints of Walpody will keep away the quacks. It's only eight pence a penny and only six in tax. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! I'm sorry, I like these songs. One, two, his praises, we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Lord bless Charlie Moss, the man who invented me. There will be several of these in the course of this game if I, if my memory serves me well. But uh, you, yeah, you can actually skip past past them the first time you hear it. You can actually escape out of it. Hey, I understand your hesitation, stranger. There isn't enough ale in this town to get me to go down there. Then again, I'm a cowering sort. What are you, a man or a mouse? Get down there and Mary may have a go with you. You wouldn't want to be the only man in town she hasn't had a go with, would you? Mm. There, I break your barrels for that suggestion. That rat is not going to kill itself. Get down there and earn a meal for once. Well, for someone who says he's not afraid of rats, you sure are procrastinating. If you were afraid, 
You can tell me. I won't have any interest in speaking with you any further, but you can tell me. So, controls are a little odd. It's standard WASD. And I can use Q and E to... And then the bard looted the chest which contained the widow's most precious... Wait a minute. Did I read that properly? You're stealing from her? I wouldn't call it stealing, exactly. I mean, people leave all kinds of things in chess, and they never seem to object when I help myself. Think of it as a public service. I mean, who knows how cluttered these chests might become if I didn't do my part to help clean them out. In hindsight, I'm surprised it took the bard this long to get his hands on Mary's chest. <laughs> now, I let's see. Can I figure out diary? Is it just the item? Oh, I, okay. Finding other picture. Uh, so we've got zoom in and zoom out. And we've got mini map to major map. Okay, I'm not sure what that is yet. Okay, I found items. There's my sword. Okay, and there's my spells, okay. Yeah, back before the standardized... It's, it's kind of amazing just how uh, much has changed in 15 years. Ooh, that looked painful. Break all the things. Come on. Break it. Okay, can't break it. Let's save the game. Yes. And we're going to actually overwrite. That was my test save, just to kind of make sure I could actually get stuff recorded. There's one thing I learned from the debacle with Cyberpunk 2077, is always make sure I can record before trying to go live. Okay, well, breaking all those barrels didn't do a darn thing. I don't remember anything about this game. Oh, what a cute little rat. Bye. Quest complete! All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. Or has he? Ah! Ah! Hey, water. Need water. The bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. Eek, 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 ah! Taking damage. Taking damage. Owie, owie. Owie, owie, owie. Owie, owie, owie. What, wait, what was the... Well done. More like medium rare. Now we'll have another go at him with this. Is that a wooden sword? You better hope I've cooled off when I return, or you're next. Oh, broadsword. Okay. I don't know how to do that. I had the broadsword before. I guess. 
<laughs> Let's save again. These games you save as often as you see save points. I'm sure. <laughs> Random. Who the hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie. Don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. <laughs> so do yourself a favour and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you got. Thunder Spider. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that'll help you get the best of any foes you might encounter? I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humour you, old man. Good job, lad. You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the defend key. What? Well, what are you on about? You're completely insane, aren't you? You know, I ran into this other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see. Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, boyo. You'll notice that instead of holding down the key, you'll have to time your defence to the enemy's attack. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? Now, oh, laddie... Let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make some magic. What? Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the summon menu key. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? You'll see several choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. That was useful, at least. Finally. This part is important, so listen up, laddie. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control, but they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders using the command keys. For example, press the aggressive key to make your little friend there become more aggressive. Charge! Ah, you're getting the hang of things now, aren't you, lad? <laughs> you can experiment with different uses of the command keys to develop your own strategies. Now, at times, you may want to get rid of a creature you've summoned. Simply go back into the same menu you've summoned him from and select him again. That's the way to get rid of an unwanted creature. Bye bye, Spider. Great. Does that trick work on you as well? Good luck against the rat, my boy. <laughs> Bizarre. It's a weird game. I, I remember almost nothing about this game. I played In it the future, I'm going to have to learn how to dodge these mysterious old man types. I played it back when it first came out. I didn't ever beat it. I think I made it like halfway through the game and then something else drew my attention. But we'll see what happens. Let's actually let's let's get our spider now. Actually, what other commands I have? Back off. Stay where you are. Over here. Attack. Oh, uh, okay. Attack. Wow, I didn't even have to, have to attack him. 
All hail the bard, rat killer and rodent bane, who's bravely made the cellar... How about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronising to me, OK? There's more. That was another roar. There's more d down here. Um, 3D. Oh yeah, Nerder back talk's always fun. And we'll save again. Now watch, they'll not be happy about the fact that I actually beat it. Run away again, did ya? Go back to where you came from and leave the fight into those who've got the guts for it. Um. Oh no, the rat is the gutless one, for I spilt his about your cellar. I'd be only too happy to haul him up here for you to see. In fact, it might actually improve the ambiance of this place. No need. The stench you bring with you will be proof enough. Well, maybe there's more to you than meets the eye. Twas the least I could do for a damsel in distress. Now, how about that meal? Why don't you wait while I fix you some leftovers? Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. Next morning. Having spent a lonely night in a somewhat uncomfortable and shabby bed, the bard awoke the next morning in a foul humor. You should go speak with that strange friend of yours. He was starting to scare away my regular customers. I had to chase him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you killed a rat. What do you want? A medal? Oh, gee, thanks. You killed it! You killed it! The fire-breathing rat in the cellar was the best practical joke we had! Now what are we supposed to do to entertain ourselves? Guess I can't talk to Mary anymore. Very impressive, young man. I wish I had the guts to stand up to the wife the way you stood up to that rat. But of course, she's a bit more vicious. <laughs> you monster, you killed the entertainment. Indeed. How dare I? What did I tell you, lad? You hooked him and cooked him. Thanks to that song you gave me. You're welcome, boy. -o. And should you be looking for another one like it, find the trow in the fairy haunt woods. But keep your wits about you. They're devilish clever, the trow. With magic by the pound, and not a single scrap of honesty. I Do back. I look like a village idiot to you? I've had more than my fill of barbarian hordes, evil wizards, cities locked in eternal winter, and any other type of adventure you care to throw my way. There's too much danger and not enough profit to go around. Come now, boy. What's a little danger when compared to power? Didn't that little trick I showed you help you get in good with the Widow McCrary? No. If it's a skin you're worried about, I will we trink it here that'll keep you safe from harm. This amulet was made by a powerful sorceress. It can summon her spirit to heal your wounds in battle. You'll need adder stones to provide the necessary mystical power. If you like, you can even use multiple stones for even greater effect. You laddie, try it out. Okay, I'll be nice. Who is she? She's beautiful. 
I'll take the amulet, old man. And, uh, what were you saying about a trail? Find him in the fairy haunt woods. Bannerfeet be his name. He can teach you magic enough to impress any lass. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, no, <coughs> wow. Now I'm off to find a trowel. Okay, where's my mini map? Just randomly go away? There it is, okay. I thought I can really see it, but... Hold on. I'm gonna move the chat to even think about that. Down a bit so I can actually see... Okay. Anyways, we're back. Um, sorry about that, folks. Had a little bit of an issue with the uh, stream here. Uh, and the recording. Oh, hi there, puppy. It's not... I don't want to hurt the puppy. I want to speak with the puppy. Well, now. You're a spry little thing. I could do with a friend. Care to throw him with me? Is he going to follow me? Or do you say no? Let's kill a chicken. Kill a chicken. Come on. Sorry. Oh, that had to hurt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I went cow tipping. Sorry. Okay, I guess you don't want to talk to me either, huh? I really have no direction on where I need to go at the moment, so kind of flailing about here. A Kirk, whatever a Kirk is. Kirk or Hilt Kirk. Oh, okay, a church. Welcome to the Kirk of Houghton, young man. We can lay our hands for a healing and blessing, should you feel inclined to make a small donation. I don't need to, so it's, I, if I need to be healed, I can go here. That's good to know. Yeah, I got a nugget. Um, only one nugget so far. And it looks like, so far, everything I've got just turns into treasure. So I don't know that it'll be actually items, or... just I just don't remember. Come on. There. Guess I get to meet somebody here. What are you doing? Stop that right now. Why are you breaking my barrels? Oopsie. I didn't know these belonged to anyone. Well, they do. It took me all day to make those. I don't mind if you break them after they're sold, but don't destroy my inventory before I've sold them. Okay, I'll lay off these. But if I see a barrel somewhere else, I will, of course, be forced to destroy it. Fine with me. You just keep smashing barrels, and I'll start setting aside silver for you for every new barrel I sell to replace the ones you've broken. Come back here any time, and I'll make good on my promise and pay you what I owe. I, uh, won't hold my breath, old man. But if I'm back oh. in the area, I'll come look you up. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Let's see. Look, if you aren't going to smash barrels, there's no reason to come back and talk to me. That's hilarious. It's a scheme.
Okay, that's probably where I meet him to actually get paid. That's hilarious. Look, if you aren't going to smash barrels, there's no reason to come back and talk to me. Get out there and earn some money. Pardon me. Okay, so those, are, those, those must be interactables. Oh, sheriff's office. Okay. So you're the fellow what's been chasing through Houghton with your rats and lightning spiders, eh? All I'm after is songs and silver, and I've no mind to break the laws in getting them. That's fine. My job is to be keeping the peace, collecting the taxes, and fending off the Kunal Trow. Respect that, and you're welcome to stay in Houghton as long as you please. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in me jail. Okay. Can I go up here? Does not look like it. I guess that means at some point we're going to find ourselves in jail. Would not be shocking. Okay, we're not leaving Houghton Lot. Houghton Lot. Yeah. Clear, 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 clear. Houghton yet. I can talk. Blackhammer Smithy. Seamus. Well now, you must be the bard that everyone's been talking about. The fellow with the spider made of lightning. It's honoured I am to have you in my shop, sir, and happy to facilitate all your arms and armament needs. Swords, bows, or armour, everything here is first rate and for sale. Terms of cash in advance, in full, all sales final, with no letters of credit, layaways, or IOUs. We do have a buyback policy. If you buy it, don't bring it back. Ha ha. So look over what you want, and I'll be happy to cover the finer points of any item I have in stock. But remember the golden rule. You break it, you buy it. What have you got to stab and bash with? This is where we have our close combat weaponry. When you're battling gold. a foe up close and personal, you don't want to skimp on your instrument of battle. In most cases, not the best man, but the best weapon walks away to tell the tale. Okay. What else you got? I could use some protection. It's a fact. A warrior's only as tough as his weakest armor. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff, but none of them have been repeat customers, if you take my meaning. Not interested. Okay. See you, old man. And he makes some money. Seems there's a quest with him. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Uh, okay, it must be the ah, treasure map. Interesting. Peeking at my map, are you? I can tell you this much. It's as old as the hills and chock full of danger and delight. The fellow I had it from said there's plenty of frights to make things hot. Plenty of X's marking the spot. Nah, not worth my time. See you, old man. Right, so I gotta make, make me some money. Make myself some money that way. Okay. Yeah, the camera. I, I I do wish we had a little more control over the camera beyond just the spin. Ah, and there's our save point. Oh yes, save. I'm going to use the same save point. Do, 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 do. What you growling about, puppy? And I think that's the store we just came out of. We'll check. Yes, that is. Okay. Pardon me. Pardon you. 
see a door. Another bro. Ooh. I just stole someone's diary and I sold it automatically. I am just a right kind person. <laughs> okay. In. Let's get a feel for the outlines of the town. Oh, we got another door. Hey! Go. Excuse me! Another ha Okay, Brock, it must be a house. Beer bottles. I feel so evil. Yeah. Just robbing these people blind. Yeah, no, they, they didn't need the money. Okay. Is there something here I, I should know about? It's a crap load of flies. What the heck? Hopefully that, that means something later. Sorry. You're just standing there. Why are you saying sorry? I don't... That's... Okay, so... Out in forest is where I wanted to go to meet the the trow. Okay. A named Bruch. What do you want? If you're a thief, you'll get nothing from me. But I've only these old bones and a heavy heart. Sorry, Grandad. I didn't expect to find you here, or frighten you when I did. I'm only looking out for a bit of silver to line my pockets. Of course you are, young sir. And I happen to know how you might find some. For it's a cruel bugbear that's been keeping the farmers from observing their rituals. And us farmers have to perform our rituals at the Houghton Cairn. Without them, the crops won't grow and the weans go hungry. Okay. I know what it means to be hungry, and worse it is for a child. So, a fair price for a fair piece of work, and it's a bargain. Ah, bless you, my boy. I knew you for a game lad the moment I saw you. As for the bugbear, you'll find him in the cairn. When you're done with him, come back here and we'll pay you what we can. Yay for quests. I, of course, I don't think I have a quest log. But... Yeah. Sorry, Grandad. Well, yeah. Hmm, old person. Let's yell at them. There's another exit. Harry Haunt Woods. Is there a quest log? I'm pressing buttons to see if there's a quest log. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Oh, that was a waste. Ah. Well, you know what? I, I'm thinking it's, uh, with the two recordings, this is probably right about 40 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and pause here. And I am going to go All right, ahead... folks, with that, we're going to go ahead and close out this particular YouTube video. Thank you very much for joining with me today. I hope that you had as much fun watching this video as I had in creating it. That said, if you do enjoy what I'm doing here, please make sure that you help me out with the YouTube algorithm. You know what to do. Like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Also, make sure that you click that notification bell, that way you get notifications whenever new videos go live on the channel. 
You are also welcome to follow me on all my various social channels. You can find me online on Twitter as at BiscuitEaterYT, on Facebook as The Biscuit Eater, and of course, I do stream all my videos live every Monday and Wednesday from 7.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. Pacific Time on twitch.tv forward slash BiscuitEater. Hope to see you there. Lastly, since you stuck around this long, you're going to see some videos popping up here. You should see over here the last video that I uploaded to the channel, and over here you'll see a video that YouTube thinks you're going to really like, so check them out. Finally, of course, I do appreciate you all being here and want to thank you for joining me, but until I see you next time, come on, lovelies.